Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. I hope you are doing great. Your watercolor is your watercolor is going way way forward, and uh, I welcome you to this new video. Uh, and this this particular video is specifically for those people who is just struggling with various tips and uh, techniques available all over the place. <laughs> because uh, uh, I've seen that many, especially those beginners uh, who just started learning watercolor and who really wanted to grow. But uh, they are, I mean, because of there is a lot of tips all over the place, they really get confused in you know, where to start and how to apply them, all etc. etc. And the reason I'm just telling you because I experienced that, I've seen that, I've gone through those phases. So, what is the best way? What is the best way you can you can apply those techniques also? You can understand those tips also. So, to doing that. The one of the only things what you need to do is to practice right? and uh, practice in a such a way that uh, it should reflect those tips and techniques and whatever it is and these tips and techniques will will generate by itself. You really don't need to rely on many other resources and uh, any, any, any such different uh, the resources which you have all over the place. So I have taken this reference image and uh, we'll make it we'll we'll see like how we can make it how we can practice this and i've been telling you that when you want if you have if you really desire to learn watercolor the only one thing what you will what you need to do is to practice consistently and when i say practice is practice it doesn't mean that you have to make a beautiful watercolor painting that's not the idea idea here is you know, how quickly you can just paint something how quickly you can spend your time with watercolor right if you have even if you have if seen my previous videos you must have seen that uh, i'm never advocating to go and walk i mean i mean especially i mean when you are learning watercolor just do some some sort of a craziness so you need to get a craziness within you if you wanted to make or learn watercolor especially in terms of loose watercolor and those aspects so these are very important all right so further delay <laughs> i'm so sorry to giving you this much of uh gyan. uh but yeah uh, i i would uh, request you to please subscribe my channel if you have uh, not yet done uh because the data shows me that uh, you see my videos and you go away you don't subscribe me this is not good <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, this is a way to, uh, you know a, a way to support an artist so i would request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, click on the bell icon so uh, whenever i upload any video you'll get a notification right done all right so now let's uh, move into our process so the the reference image i've already told you right so this is our reference image i've already painted this painting uh, and now we wanted so this is the another the, the next level but what is the very first level you need to learn right so this is your first level so now let's sketch so now see you have this building if you as you've seen in your uh, reference image so this is my this is how you are going to practice watercolor okay you have this building and there are several other buildings here which is a uh, quite far from from this particular building let's make a little more modi modification here uh, i'll make this uh, a rooftop here in this way right and uh, there is a two window here a little modification <laughs> right and uh, and here you have a, a one more front house one small hut sort of uh, thing and uh, and there is a dimension here which is which is something like and uh, here few people just talking maybe that's the story this is all you need <laughs> 
this is all you need guys and uh, this is this is how you will be practicing this all right the whole idea idea here is that i don't want you to spend hour an hour to do practice practice is something like how quickly you can do right so now let's let's do this now you have this and uh, let's paint this very first layer so what i'll do is i'll take this bun sienna this is the bun sienna color this beautiful color and uh, i'll apply it here uh, just a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue and this apply here this area and i'll take a little bit of uh, yellow ochre and i'll leave that window like this okay so first layer is something like uh, you have to take a lot of water basically okay and uh, and now if you're curious about my watercolor paper so uh, you can you can uh, you can just use any uh, cold press watercolor paper uh, which has a little bit of grains so currently in my painting uh, my paper has uh, some grains so that's why you see these kind of a uh, texture all over the place so now you see what I, I just wanted to come back here in my painting so this is your first main building and just below this there is another right so what i'm doing is i'm just using a little bit of ultramarine blue as well and mixing this all together this is how you should practice there is nothing uh good or bad for the practice practice is a practice it may be good it may be right that that does that doesn't mean but the flow the handling of color should be the way flawlessly without any effort without even a second thought it just like uh, you are doing something you are just making something and i know a lot of people are leaving watercolor and they get frustrated and they say no watercolor i can't make a watercolor and i really get uh, you know i feel very sorry about them that how is it possible the people are leaving watercolor just because they feel like this is a complicated but actually <laughs> it is not it is not i mean all you need is a certain certain consistent practice it's just that it's just that nothing else right now see these are human figure i just kept it and i'll paint it later right so this is what it is now your first layer is completed gentlemen or <laughs> everyone who is watching this uh it, what whoever is watching this uh, tutorial forget about the uh, the sky and all at this moment okay if you wanted to do this all i wanted to see all i wanted to say is uh, a be curious be make yourself absolutely free when you're doing certain something like this just a bang 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 enjoy enjoy this is the only way to enjoy the painting you'll have to enjoy this this is your very first layer let it dry don't do anything i mean your craziness stop, stop your craziness <laughs> right so once it get dry then you get into the second layer we'll put it in the second layers you mean second wall so second layer whatever it is okay so let's do this let's let it dry you can use uh, air dryer or whatever it is i'm going to use the air dryer all right so now you see our first layer is absolutely dry there is no any moisture at all so this is the right time when you can do very second layer right so for doing this i am again going to burn sienna mixing with a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue and started something something crazy <laughs> right so here it is we have uh, this uh, roof of this uh, building and uh, the source of light is coming from this side right so that we need to capture um, we have to do some pretty much big 
cold patches and uh, this is the seeds because the prominency of uh, the light will be this side right so <coughs> this is the seed of this uh, place uh, right here a little darker something like this go crazy <laughs> and uh, and once you do this we have uh, down below you have uh, some patches here maybe you can just bring some seeds of which actually defines this a little bit of uh, the value in terms of uh, the the seeds and anything which there I mean that actually brings a, a some bit of a value when you are when you're doing something like this <coughs> excuse me and uh, this is the this is going to be your window like this and uh, there's nothing wrong and right sort of thing that's what I'm just saying it's practice is practice you're just doing a practice don't don't get into that that oh okay I want to make a good things are not good and all that don't get into that you just do practice I do a lot of mistakes do as as much as possible and do all the whatever you are doing do with confidence do it with your with your complete confidence that every patches I'm going to paint it's a unique and I'm I'm going to learn something from this 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 is exactly uh, the way the approach is now see this is exactly I'm just working on right and uh, the depth a little bit of depth here a lot of depth here probably you can just bring in here this area and uh, there is another roof probably right here And maybe this is the also some window here in this. Right, and uh, let's put some big, bold, beautiful patch. Right, <laughs> so this is what I was just talking about the bull big bold beautiful confident patches all over the place and never sigh away never sigh away to do any sort of such kind of a craziness these these are just for your practice just just for your practice the more and more you will generate something like this you will see your paintings are and uh, the tips you are talking about are getting I mean you will be getting on more and more into that and you'll see like things are getting more and more clear and your, your paintings are basically improving now let's work on these people here I've just taken this ultramarine blue and uh, Bansiana and I'm making this leg etc etc I mean these people are just talking just going somewhere and the seeds of that the head and uh, you have uh, the window here also right so just bring that up just play around the depth just see how depth you can bring in the more depth the more beauty that's that's the that's the rule uh, but it doesn't mean that there should be no proper balance if you're working with the depth 
there should be a proper balance that uh, how much depth you can and those things definitely i mean it will not come in a one in a what you know one practice you'll have to do something like this again and again and again and and and, and you will see like uh, i mean you do really don't need to rely on anything it it comes by itself everything is getting emerged by itself okay now we could you can sprinkle or whatever it is there might be you would like to have on some more patches maybe here right right and if you wanted to pack this painting you can just have that too let's say here is some more building probably possibly right <laughs> so just just in a very rough idea what i meant what i meant to say but can you just go crazy like this i mean you have to i mean if you'll see start, if you'll start doing this you will see there is a, a lot of confidence actually you are building within you and those are beautiful those are amazing uh, the the texture the 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 boldness of this the everything comes together and you'll see like a, a beautiful uh, confidence actually you are building and i'm telling you don't look at this like okay i'm <laughs> i have to make a beautiful painting beautiful painting making beautiful painting will be a secondary the first thing would be how to how to just generate something like this how to paint something like this let's work on the these people there maybe he's wearing red color cloth or something leg and uh, maybe he's walking here with some bag or a sort of thing and uh, this gentleman is also just going along you know just chit chat here and there okay what's up <laughs> right that's the story you should also be you, sh you should be thinking about those those thing also this is what actually i wanted to communicate this is the painting we just made uh, but uh, what next <laughs> right that will be your question so for that i have uh, created uh, another painting which is just uh, in the same subject uh, and uh, you can access to this video when you'll become my patreon member and you will understand the entire process of this so this is the next level of this painting which you can access which you will see the similar like and what is the next version so you will see this entire process uh, of my painting uh, how i made this um, the, the approach is same approach is same but you will see in, in a more uh, in a in a next level of this one you will understand more in depth the all the patches i am 
I'm, I'm putting but the approach will be the same uh, so you'll see this entire thing in my patreon member if you'll become a patreon member you will see this entire process so check my patreon and support me to create something like this you just visit my patreon page uh, and uh, and you will see the next level of this painting right so do that and I'm sure that these techniques and these these confidence the building the confidence it's not a, it's just an exercise just an exercise yes because People are leaving watercolor. People f believe that uh, these these techniques are really critical. Uh, these really, really tough, <laughs> and it's very complicated. I can't handle watercolor, and they are leaving this media. and uh, And I really don't want you to demotivate, uh, to get demotivated, and just get out from the watercolor. That's not I'm. Uh, uh, I just want to see. So. Just check that and uh, and practicing something like this will definitely improve your, uh, your your painting for sure. So only thing is you need to practice in consistently. You need to practice in every day or just see or alternate how you just plan it, how you how you can connect with watercolor in a regular basis. So you will see things are keep coming. Things are keep improving. It's doing something like just 15 minutes, not more than that, 15 minutes. 20 minutes and that's it don't create anything beautiful thing create something ugly like this right <laughs> so with this I'm just uh, uh, what to say thank you so much and um, uh, again uh, if you want to support me to create some things like this for you to please visit my patreon page and uh, support me uh, so that will help me to create something like this for you all the time so thank you take take care and create a lot of art Bye-bye.